Brev and I have been out doing some Christmas shopping today. Mm -hmm. Check out this guy, he's just like me. The man said, look, I'm gonna fish to about 10 today and then I'm going out to do some, uh, I'm going to Big Lots. Christmas shop, Christmas shopping. Who are we getting gifts for? Mm -hmm. Mommy, mm -hmm. Granny, mm -hmm. Mimi, mm -hmm. and Papa. Hopefully this is the last stop. Yes. All right, so which, which one are we doing? Black, we're doing either this black one here or the red one? Yes, which the one? red one. I think the black one, it goes no, with the everything. the red one, do the red one. Why do we need to get the red one? But that doesn't go with everything, dude. But we're back home now. Back home from shopping and we're going to, uh, I guess, do some unboxing of these rods and reels. It's not really unboxing. Really, I got to see what I got myself because the next couple days, I've got to take some time off. I've been fishing a lot the last couple days. This is my favorite time of the year. I say that all the time. My favorite time of year, favorite time of year. But I really do enjoy fishing from Thanksgiving to New Year's. It's like prime time to catch a bunch of fish. All right, so let's take a look at my reels here. I use uh, probably a little bit, uh, I use a wide gamut of, of different gear ratios. For me, the, the gear ratio is just about everything here. So, I've got everything from 5 4 to 1, which is what this is here, all the way to 801 reels, for just depending on what I'm doing and um, and what I like, you know, just, just depends. I've got a lot of 801 reels, so this year I decided to get a lot, a lot slower reels, because I think that's a whole, I think, I think having a slow reel is really, really important, especially with reaction bait. So this is the Revo X series. I found out last year, I actually, oh, I use Evo Garcia, as a, obviously. This is a Revo X is what I got here. Five, four to one. This is gonna be something like a reaction bait style reel. So for my chatter baits, for my uh, sprinter baits, for cranking, this is gonna be the reel that I use here, the Revo X. I, I got a couple of them that they sent me earlier this year. I really like that reel. I just really like the mid-class reels just seem to fit me a little bit better. I used a lot of the MGX last series, last year, and I, I ended up really wanting to have the STX series or the X series in my hand the most. So 541 uh, gear ratio reels. This is gonna be like charter bait, spinner bait, cranking, that type of thing. I'm almost always, just depending on what you're doing with those baits, you know, there'll be times where I will use a faster reel for that. For, for most of the time, like uh, just going down the bank, I like a little bit slower reel for those uh, presentations. You watch, you, you, you'll lose a lot fewer fish if you use a slower reel, especially with uh, treble hooks too. So the X series, I'm using those this year. Probably my favorite reel in the Edward Garcia lineup. I think probably the heavy hitter, the most durable reel. If you if you were to say Brian, if you're only gonna get one reel from Abu, what is it gonna be? It'd be this one right here. It'd be the Abu Garcia. Uh, I'm not sure if this is 73 to one, but it would be if you told me I can only have one. This is actually an 801 gear ratio reel. Now, why do I need an 801 gear ratio reel? For me, I like this one for flipping, pitching. I like it because I can get in there out, get in there out. And when you go to pick, when you go to pick your bait up out of the water, you pick it up like super fast. You pick up all of that line and put it back in another hole. Reel it in, pick up that line real fast, put it back in. I just feels like I, I work a lot less with a real fast reel when I'm talking about flipping and pitching because I can just pick up that line really quick. Probably not gonna use that for cranking, probably not gonna use it for a spinner bait. For you guys that live up north where you got small mouth, yeah, you might do it. I live in the south where we have large mouth. So a 801 gear ratio reel is probably not gonna be my reaction bait. Yeah, for a top order, for a jerk bait, absolutely. But for December through March when I'm throwing a crank bait, eh, 801 is gonna be coming in too hot for me so the stx get him if you're just looking for one reel if you can't buy seven eight ten reels this is the guy stx get you a seven three to one gear, gear ratio if you can only buy one let's see what else i got in here i think i ordered some revo premieres too we'll see where they are yep this is the revo premiere 
Now I gotta be honest, I have not used the, the Revo Premiers. I just started using Ebu equipment last year, and I haven't, I didn't use the Revo Premiers uh, previously. Revo Premier 7 3 to 1. So I don't know anything about it. It looks like the frame is the same as my X Series, definitely feels lighter than uh than my x series re reel so that's the revo premier 731 gear ratio reel we'll have to do something at the end of the year see what it see what it feels like but you know see what i think about the reel but right now it's pretty smooth i like it i usually would do these things outside of my shop my shop is so bad messy right now i don't even like i don't even like being in there it's not that i care that, that i don't you know kind of don't want you to see it it's just i don't even like being in it because it's so messy so that's what we got there uh revo premieres revo premier revo x revo stx i think there's only one other that i that i ordered this year i usually get at least three of each one yes this is the one that turned me on to the mid-grade reels right here this is the revo sx now i got the sx and 661 and this is a 731 this is a great reel too let me see that i mean golly you can turn that thing and it just goes forever i'll try i'll try why you want to try you want to you want to do everything i do i know what do you think about it yeah. pretty good huh mm -hmm. yeah so that's the 731 like this guy that's one i'm probably going to use uh that's an all around i think a 731 is a good all around gear ratio you can use it just about anything flipping pitching frogging uh texas strigs cranking yada 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 on and on and on but that's the sx series that's another great one fits the price point i'm going to leave a link in the description box where you guys can get all these reels if you choose to do so i think that's all i got there you know i, I carry probably 15 or 20 what? yeah that's all of the yeah. all the reels so those are the long ones yes the rods are over all here right, all the long ones. Those are yes the i got two to two tubes of rods all right let's move on down to rods that i got for this upcoming season My favorite favorites. Okay. Okay, so I got a Phantom Rig. Let's see, so this is my Phantom Rig. I'm actually gonna be doing some traveling this year. And so um, I got two of these two-piece rods. So I can carry him like on an airplane when I decide to, I, I'm trying to keep that a secret right now what I'm going to be doing, but. Um, you, can, you can build that thing. Yeah, you just put them together. So this is a two piece rod right here. Just throw them together like that. If you want to make it a one piece, you could. You could just put a little epoxy on there and you got a, you got a one piece rod. But I got a couple. Yeah. I got a uh, couple traveling trips. I wanted to get a couple of these two-piece rods just for those, just for those in particular. This is my Phantom Rig rod. So I only got two of these guys. This is a spinning rod. This is my 7.3 medium light. So you, you'll see why I'm going to have that later on this year. Yes, same rod. I got two of those. Same deal. 7.3. You just see so check this out dude this is so cool so you know all the all the rods come with a uh with the rod sleeve with favorite you know I, look, I really love this handle that's cool this is the rig series check out the handle on that guy it's pretty slick i think don't remember what else i ordered here we're gonna have to go through here and figure it out some of them, you know, I've talked about already. A lot of you guys are kind of going to already know what some of this stuff is. Because I've talked about it so much in a lot of my details videos. Let's see. Oh, this is my six stick. This is my six stick spinning rod. This is, you know, 
In the beginning, when I first started using Favorite, I really used a jackhammer a lot. And the more that I fish, the more I started using, you know, the jackhammer is great for lighter stuff. If you're fishing a little bit deeper, fishing a drop shot, but, um, hey babe, just leave that. Just, I'll get that. I'll put it back in there. So I like it a lot for if you're fishing a drop shot, fishing a Ned rig, but you know, if you're throwing like a little small swim bait or you're throwing something, you need a little bit more power. I think just wait, I will do this. Thank you, sir. Um, if you, you're doing something, you need a little bit more, uh, you need a little bit more. Ah, I got him. Ooh, biggin. Ah, eee! you need a little bit more of that. This is gonna be my guy. I, so I, I've started, I've gravitated more and more to using these, so that's why I ordered more for this season. This is the six stick, seven one. Um, dude, this is this is a good all around rod. I, as a matter of fact, I would even tell you, if you're only gonna have one spinning rod, and you're looking not to put a fortune in it, you know, I always preach, don't cheat on your spinning rods. Look how much this guy is. Seven one one nineteen. Can you read that? One nineteen ninety nine. One hundred twenty bucks. You're gonna get a really high quality rod for uh, one hundred twenty bucks. But this is the one I use. Small swim bait, skipping stick baits on the dock, skipping a shaky head. I think you know. I've used this guy's salt water. I've used it a little bit of everywhere. So check him out. This is my jerk bait rod right here. Dude, this is my. Now I will admit this is a this is a really expensive rod. You know it's expensive when it comes in a it comes in a case. Like they take favorite takes extra high end precaution in shipping the rods. So you see this guy comes in a case. Is a summit. I want to say it's a six eight. It's either six eight or six ten. I can't remember. All I know is this is the this is the guy I use. There's another rod that's cheaper. If you don't want to spend that much money. This is a $350 rod right here. So, you know, if you don't want to go that in, I, I got something else that I'll show you that you can use. It weighs about, it. the tag weighs more than this rod does. But it's just a perfect little rod. You know, jerk bait can wear you out just doing that all day, just working, 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 working. But this rod's so light and it's the right action for me to make that jerk bait really dance. It's a little bit, it's, it's not stiff, but it's got a little bit more it's got a little bit more backbone to it which for me lets that bait really just dart back back and forth but this is my jerk bait rod the six eight summit medium heavy I don't want to spend 350 50 bucks in a jerk bait rod here's two that you can use the white bird six six I want to say it's a medium heavy that there is a there's also a rush there's a rush six six that's a great rod. I use those those rods for square bill, square bill crankbaits. So if you want to, um, if you're looking for a rod that that's not 350 bucks that you want to throw a jerk bait on, those would be two good ones. The the white bird is 49.99. You got the rush uh, 200 some odd dollars. Uh, so anything in that six under seven foot is what I would say seven foot or under. All do all rod right here is the favorite seven two dude medium heavy action i do everything i do everything you can do on the water and still have your clothes on with this rod that's all i'm gonna say about that and so this is this is my flares rod uh this is a balance now this rod i haven't actually used so we'll have to come back and do a review on it afterwards so I'm, I was so impressed with uh, Flair's rod, the Andrew Flair seven foot three extra heavy. He also has another one. This is a seven four. This is a seven four. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I don't remember. It's moderate fast action, but it doesn't say the rod. Oh, seven four heavy. But I was so impressed with his uh, his signature series rod, the extra heavy flipping and frogging. That I wanted to try this 7.4. But I use this rod, or well, his seven, his seven three. I use it for swim jigs, a little light duty flipping, like when I'm flipping a little three eighths ounce creature bait or something like that. That's what I use for that. So I got his balance 7.4, stepped it up an inch. And this is just a heavy instead of extra heavy. So we're just gonna see how see how this guy works this year. I can't imagine it being bad. I liked I liked the flipping rod so good that I had to try 
the balance uh, 7 4. But this is a good moderately priced rod here, too. For you guys that live like where there's a lot more structure, probably don't get the like if you live in Texas or you live in Florida, you might not, you might think like the rig series is a little bit too wimpy for you. But where I live, we don't, our fish don't get hung in a lot of structure, so it doesn't matter. But if you like, you live in Texas, you live in Florida, you live somewhere where you live with a lot of heavy vegetation, try this balanced series. It's 80 bucks, man. 80 bucks, and it's a real high quality rod. I promise you, you won't be disappointed in this guy. A lot of flipping and pitching for like the first swim jigging and that type of thing for the first couple of events. And this is my rod for that. Look at it. Flares, frogging, and a flipping stick. That's the one I use to get in there and get butt naked nasty on it. Seven foot three. <laughs> you <laughs> laughed at me because I said butt naked nasty. Yeah. I shouldn't have said that probably in front of you, sorry. But seven foot three is, yep, seven three, extra heavy. I mean, it says extra heavy. It's really not that bad. I mean, it's, uh, to be totally honest with you, favorite actions are probably a little bit on the lighter side. So if it says it's extra heavy, it's probably heavy. If it says it's medium, it's probably medium light compared to other rods. So, um, you know, it says extra heavy, but it's going to really be more like a heavy action rod. But this this is the guy. I've, I've horsed, hossed, depending on whatever part of the country you're from. You horse them or you hoss them. I've horsed biggins out of grass mats and lily pads with this in Florida last year. And I never had a single rod. The biggest deal with when you start fishing a heavy cover is having rod failures. Your rod breaks, lack of better terms. Rod failures and the real seats. You set the hook on a big one and, and your reel pops off or your reel gets loose after working it through a lot of heavy structure, you won't have that with this rod. So that's what I like, EVA grip on it. Got a little bit of that, uh, I don't know what you call that, crushed cork or whatever on the front. But this is, I really like this rod a lot. My wife is out shopping. This is the day before, but this is literally Christmas Eve and I'm in here trying to get in our, my office slash fun room slash Christmas tree room and I've got tackle. I got a tackle bomb going off in here. Amazon boxes all laying all over the place. There's rods all around the store. Rods everywhere. So I gotta we gotta get this cleaned up. We gotta right get this now. cleaned up. Like right, like right now. Like you said, right now. So we're gonna try to get this cleaned up before my wife gets back home. If I don't talk to you guys again, have a Merry Christmas. Get out there. Tag me in your fishing photos on Instagram and Facebook and so forth. I love seeing you guys fishing, uh, fishing photos and videos, etc., etc. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Make sure you hit the little bell deal so you get a, uh, so you get a, um, you know what I'm trying to say. So you get the thing when you get the thing. We got to get this cleaned up. Let's go. Oh God! Look at the crumbs you got over there.